What's up, everybody? This is 2018-2019 Donner's Optic Basketball 12-Box Case Break number 9. Pick your teams sold out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Really appreciate everybody filling this up late at night here. Almost 11 o'clock on the West Coast. Very busy Monday, so thanks everyone for getting in. Really appreciate it. Let's, uh, let's open some optic. Got the sealed case here. Had some nice stuff in picker team number eight. Let's see if we can continue the hot streak. Had a gold vinyl 101. Had a nice Charles Barkley auto redemption. We only had 10 autographs, or 11 autographs in that last case, so hopefully, maybe we'll see a bonus auto in this one. 13 autos. All right. Good luck, everybody. Let me slice open all the boxes here. I don't cut my hand cut my arm open I probably have six or seven pack opening cuts from that 101 box football mixer Friday I need to get a manicure me and Joe go for some manicures no problem Matthew thanks everyone for getting this sold out I didn't think we'd sell this one out too I was surprised Hey, the more we can, uh, more we can break on Sundays, Mondays, the quicker everyone gets it in their hand, you know. Because if a lot of our packages go out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, so speeds up the process a little bit if we get some stuff opened on uh, Sundays and Mondays. So everyone can uh, sell their hits quicker and and get into some more breaks. And pretty soon we'll be having a lot of new features to the website. Um, just want to make sure they're fully compatible and working before we kind of add them. So we have some new stuff coming to the website pretty soon. Some new features. And hopefully some new programs in the next couple months. Maybe we can get Beckett grading going again. Um... Maybe some eBay consignments for people who want to sell their big hits. And we are moving into a bigger store pretty soon. So if you're in the LA area or if you uh, come to visit here, hopefully we have our new store in the next few months. Maybe by uh, summer 2019, we we'll get everything going. Um, we're about 20 minutes from LAX, south of LAX, so not too bad of a drive if you're in here for business or or LA pleasure. And hopefully we can have more cool events in the store now that we're going to get a, a bigger store and maybe some some athletes coming in to sign and I'm sure we can get him get the athletes to do a couple breaks with Joe and me so pretty exciting stuff I feel 2019 is gonna be a pretty big year all right good luck everybody box numero uno we got Hassan Whiteside number to 99 for the heat. I kind of go through somewhat quickly. There's a Trey Young. There's an orange Patrick Beverly for the Rock uh not the Rockets, the Clippers to 199. He used to play on the Rockets. 
DeMar DeRozan. First autograph is for the Spurs. Look at that. Dennis Rodman. San Antonio Spurs edition. Look at that hair. Signature series. The San Antonio Spurs is going to Jason. Jason with that one. Nice autograph there. Tony Parker. There's a Dante Orange for the Bucks, number to 199. There's a Green Damari Carroll for the Brooklyn Nets, number to 149. And Mo Bamba. Silver for the Orlando Magic. Next box. Hopefully we'll be getting some more optic in. Um, no big basketball releases till the end of the month. I think impeccable basketball coming, and a couple others. Um, so maybe we can get some more optic. Maybe the, some of the stuff from uh, from earlier this year. Maybe some more revolution. I know that was a big hit. Just haven't been able to find that revolution. But maybe we can dig up some of that. Maybe some more Crown Royale. Maybe some basketball mixers. So. With the trade deadline, maybe we can do an NBA trade trade deadline mixer. That'd be kind of cool. Let me turn off Nightbot. He's no longer accurate with the break schedule. We got a Dave Barrow's personal box coming up next. And if anyone else wants to get a personal box, Try and submit that order before uh, the end of this break. Here's a link. I'm here this late. Might as well break some more. All right, good luck. Box number two. Kevin Huter for the Hawks. There's a Luca rookie for the Mavericks. New Orleans Noel. There's some base. Donovan Mitchell. The autograph for the Pistons. Bruce Brown. On card auto blue for the Detroit Pistons. And Phillip. Red rookie auto. Bruce Brown. Two out of 49. Detroit Pistons. That's going to Phillip with that one. We got a Kemba Walker green. Is he going to be traded? Wow, kind of a cut in the back of the card there. I don't know if you can see that. 
Panini might be able to replace that. Number 149, Charlotte Hornets. That's Chris. There's Kevin Durant. Bojan Bogdanovic for the Pacers. 67 of 79. Going on to Eric. Zaire Smith, red for the Sixers. Number to 99, 14 out of 99. Josh Pruce with the Sixers. Got an orange Denzel Valentine, 21 out of 199. And Draymond Green. Nice Bruce Brown. Did I cut this one? There we go. That gold vinyl, come on. Back to back gold vinyl cases. Let's do it. Man, I feel like Andre Drummond, kind of an underrated player. Yeah, gold vinyl is the one of one. Um, I didn't see a uh, one, but I'm just trying to put it into existence. If you believe in all that stuff, believe it into existence. We had uh, Brandon Ingram 101 in the first case we did tonight. Chandler Hutchinson. I'm not sure if Joe's hit any. Joe's Joe did the other breaker on here, Tuesdays through Saturday. He opened what seven cases. I don't know if he hit any. I didn't watch them all. I didn't see any in the ones I watched. Jeff Teague, number 199 for the Minnesota Timberwolves. There's New Orleans Noel for the Thunder, 23 out of 39. That's Darren. There's a DeAndre Ayton Silver. Next auto for the Pistons, Kyrie Thomas. Another Piston, back to back box. Phillip. Oh, he did hit one. Someone on the Cavs. So, a couple. That's not bad, what? Hitting 20%? Something like that. On the gold vinyl. Steph Curry red for the Warriors. 82 out of 99. Got a red. Amari Stoudemire. For the Phoenix Suns, 31 out of 99. Paul George. 
All clear for takeoff. And Jerome Robinson. So the Celtics not among teams on Anthony Davis's preferred list. And Boston can't trade for Anthony Davis until July 1st as long as Kyrie Irving is on the roster. What's that? Is that a rule or something? That's weird. That they can't trade him as long as Kyrie Irving is on the roster. Hmm. So I guess Anthony Davis is probably not going to the Celtics. I feel like it's kind of Lakers or bust. Although I thought that with Ky uh, Kawhi Leonard too. And he ended up going to the Raptors. few boxes in, yeah. Case needs to hit up, heat up a little bit. It actually takes longer to open up all the packs than it is to go through the cards. Maybe 10 packs per box next, next year. I understand every product can't be one pack per box, even though I'd like it to be. That'd be so much easier, but... Maybe 10, 15 packs, 20 packs seems like a lot. But it is nice for if you're buying single boxes for sure. All right, next box, good luck. DeMar DeRozan, speaking of the Kawhi Leonard trade, what's up, Joe? That one's numbered 116 out of 149. And now everyone's keeping me late tonight. Crazy. Nicholas Batum. There's James Harden. All star, DeMar De, uh, Kyle Lowry, the other Raptor. Jason Tatum, pink for the. Celtics, 35 out of 79. Jalen Brunson. Anthony Davis. Orange Frank Nilakina. The New York Knicks, number 199. He's still on the team, right? He wasn't involved in the Porzingis trade, I don't think. Knicks got some... They got some capital, man. They got some cap room for this offseason. Plus, they're going to have probably a top three, top four pick. Potentially number one, Land Zion Williamson. Um, there's Kevin Huter, 11 out of 49 for the Hawks. Who had a nice game tonight, according to some peeps in the chat. John Stockton. And the autograph for the Hornets, numbered four out of five, Devontae Graham. Emerald Auto, green, number five, Charlotte Hornets. That is Chris Parent. There you go. Joe owes you a train whistle. Devontae Graham from Kansas University, I think, too. Four out of five. Nice one.
Oh, is this about the... Is this about the Kyrie Irving trade? It's the Rose rule because it was Derek Rose who signed the first extension that allows a player coming off a rookie deal to sign a cup. Who's that for? Is that for the Kyrie Irving thing? Is that why they can't trade for Anthony Davis? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I get what you're saying, Eric. They, I, I used to live in New York for 10 years, and I feel like they were always rumored to sign the next big thing. The only one they ever got, really, was in a trade, Carmelo Anthony. And, I mean, Kyrie was, or uh, Carmelo was not as bad as everyone thinks, but he wasn't a huge help to them, obviously. I see. So yeah, so Celtics probably not getting Anthony Davis. I guess July 1st they could trade for him, but. Swaggy says the Lakers won't make the playoffs if they trade for Davis. Yeah, they would be trading away half their team almost. But it's definitely a play for next year. If they trade for Anthony Davis, I don't think they're trying to compete for this year. It's more 2019-2020 um, season where they could sign another free agent in the offseason this, this summer, whether it be Klay Thompson or or Kyrie Irving, even Kevin Durant maybe, or, or one of those guys. Um, I think it's more of a play for, for that. I don't think anybody's beaten the Warriors this year. Warriors would would uh, have to have a really big collapse. But, I mean, they got pushed to seven games from Houston last year, but that was without Iguodala, right? And that was without DeMarcus Cousins. I guess DeMarcus Cousins is a free agent, too. So if the Warriors lose... They can lose Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant, and DeMarcus Cousins in the offseason. You would think they'd have to re-sign one of those guys, right? Yeah, Madison Square Garden is, what do they call it, the Mecca? It is a pretty historic building. Yeah, I think so, too. I think that's the only only place Anthony Davis will get traded to. But like I said earlier, I also thought that for Kawhi Leonard and the Raptors came out of nowhere. Ellie Okobo, number to 199. There's a Luka Doncic insert. We got a gold of Harrison Barnes, or an orange. Orange Harrison Barnes. Number 199 for the Mavericks. Those always confuse me. Russell Westbrook, silver. We got a red Kyle Korver for the Cavs. 53 of 99. Steph Curry, all stars. 24 out of 99 for the Warriors. Donovan Mitchell. The autograph is numbered 49 out of 49. Isaac Bonga for the Lakers. Blue Refractor Auto. LA Lakers. That is Mark. There's a start mark. Still got to pull that 101 for you. But it's an eBay 101. 49 of 49. Blue Buddy Healed. 2 out of 49.
So Joe reporting in the chat. According to Woj, or Woj, I never know how to say his name. Um, Pelicans are waiting on Lakers to overwhelm them with a historic haul of picks. That means Lakers offering four first round picks and second round picks as part of a Davis package. Pelicans want to be compensated, perhaps even overcompensated to even consider a deal with LA now. Yeah. I mean, are the Lakers' first-round picks even that valuable? I feel like in the NBA, unless you have a lottery pick, it's not really all that valuable. Unless you are looking for, like, a steal of the draft. I guess Donovan Mitchell and... And if, what, Greek Freak was... Uh, was... A late-round pick, but I feel like... It's weird. I feel like that that sentiment will change by Thursday, I think it is. Sorry, I can't <laughs> can't mod. I'll have to start modding everybody. Yeah, Joe gets modded if you work here. Eric, we'll have to get you on the payroll. That's one of the the perks. Like when we list our jobs on like Monster and stuff, we put perks, being a mod in, in our YouTube chat. Even better than health insurance and uh, all that other stuff, overrated stuff. I guess I should have broken last night. That Super Bowl was so boring. I thought nobody would would uh, want to watch the YouTube stream because everyone would be eyes glued to the TV. But it, apparently, lowest Super Bowl ratings of all time, almost. Lori Markinen, number seventy Rondé Hollis Jefferson for the Brooklyn Nets, 8 out of 149. There is Gary Trent Jr. for the Blazers, 172 out of 199. Where is the autograph? There it is. Boom. Boom, boom. Some late night mojo here. Luka Doncic, the second one I've pulled tonight. I hit one in contenders for Mr. Dave Barrows, and I hit one now for Optic. Dallas Mavericks, that's going out to Ken G. Congrats. Some Nick at Night mojo. Three out of 49. Damn. There's a Matthew Del Vadova silver. Kyle Lowry red. For, uh, number 99. I like when they the match, when the parallel matches the uniform color. I do enjoy that. Kevin Knox, Silver, and the historic Houston Rockets version of Carmelo Anthony. Maroon 5, yeah. I mean, I feel like 
we were talking about it yesterday. Um, I feel like every halftime performer, they people kind of say that they were kind of bad. There hasn't been a lot of halftime performers where I feel like everyone agrees on it, which I guess is music in general. Not everyone likes all the same music, obviously. But at least Justin Timberlake can dance, you know, it, a little more entertaining. Um, and his songs are just kind of better. Um, so Justin Timberlake last year. And then, like, Lady Gaga, she jumped from the, the roof of the stadium. Adam Levine took his shirt off. I mean, nothing really. I mean, not all that great. Like, Beyonce is a performer. Lady Gaga is a performer. Justin Timberlake is a performer. I feel like Adam Levine is just kind of a... A basic guy um, and they were trying to kind of make him seem like a rock star he was like playing the guitar but I don't know how good he is at the guitar they were kind of trying to play that like when he was trying to dance to the the Travis Scott song he just kind of looked a little awkward so yeah I don't I don't think it was that great but it's easy for me to say that <laughs> But yeah, I don't know who they could get for the halftime show that everyone would say that they liked it, you know? Yeah, Katie, Katy Perry, she's another one where she, like, puts on a big show, you know? So. I thought the big boy was really bad. I mean, the big boy song they did. It was cool when he drove out in the Cadillac, though, but... I guess I didn't listen to that growing up, so I didn't I didn't have any nostalgia attached to Big Boy. Outcast would have been better. Um, I think the Mavericks were 340 in this case. Yeah, a lot of artists did turn it down. John Wall for the Wizards, 1 out of 79. There's a James Harden. Enos Cantor, who I guess is doing some crazy tweets. 28 out of 99. Knicks fans not happy with him. There's a redemption. We'll save that. There's Kyrie Thomas. There's Enos Cantor Green, numbered to 149, building the rainbow. Ty Freak Evans, number to 199. Yeah, Turkish government. He couldn't play the game. Um, where was it? London? I don't think he played. Or I don't even think he went. But apparently he he's caused some drama about the Porzingis trade. He tweeted some stuff. I don't know. Knicks, the Knicks always need some drama, I feel like. Rated rookie signature. Landry Shamit for the Sixers. Philadelphia 76ers, that's going out to Josh Pruce. Boom. Landry Shamit. Wichita State, right? I think. I feel like he was in the tournament like every year doing some crazy plays, buzzer beaters and stuff. Yeah, imagine Dragons at New Nickelback. 
Imagine Dragons. They're on like every ESPN college football commercial. Yeah, maybe some of those rock bands, you know. Although, they did do The Who, right? That was like 2004 or 5. Um, I guess that's different from, from those bands. But The Who, who else would? They had what? Some of the kind of the over-the-hill bands in 2000s. Prince was really good, obviously. I think Prince was, was that the Eagles Patriots Super Bowl? Or was that the Who? I remember watching the Eagles Patriots Super Bowl um, as a young Eagles fan and, and hating the halftime performance because the Eagles were losing. Oh, Bears Colts. Oh, so it was a few years after. I think Patriots Eagles were 2005. But yeah, they should have done some some more Atlanta themed. Next year's what Miami? What are they gonna have? Pitbull? I don't know any other Miami bands or artists, I should say. I think it's Miami, then Tampa Bay. There's not any artists from Tampa Bay, is there? That I'm maybe I'm forgetting. <laughs> Famous Tampa Bay band. Nothing against Tampa Bay. I just I don't remember. And then it's here in LA. That'll be exciting in LA. Yeah, Pitbull for Miami. Yeah, they had marching bands the first 10 Super Bowls. I feel like it was more than that, 10 Super Bowls. We got a Lou Will Clippers. Six man like Lou Will, number to 99. We got a pink Derrick Rose, 33 out of 79. Steve Nash. We have a, wow, nice hit here. Gold autograph on card Wendell Carter Jr. Nice case. One of 10. There you go, Swaggy in the chat. Picked up a bunch of teams. Gets rewarded. Nice one. One out of ten. Yeah, on uh, Radio Row, I saw. If anyone fo I follow him on Instagram, the uh, the founder of Barstool Sports got kicked out of the Super Bowl. I guess he's they're they're banned from from the Super Bowl after their Goodell stunts. Number one ninety nine, Miles Bridges, notorious Patriots fans. There's a uh, Pistol Pete, number ninety nine. There's D. Wade, number to 199. And Landry Shamit. Yeah. Yeah, and then they posted, like, whoever had the most hits out of all these brands that were at the Super Bowl. And Barstool Sports was at, like, 8 million views. And the next one was NFL at, like, 3 or 4 million. So, obviously, it was good for them. Um, I'm not a grader. I can't really say for sure. I know the optic cards are pretty tough to get graded just because of the uh, the chrome design. I wouldn't even know. It looks like a 10 autograph for sure. No streakiness in the autos. Um, I 
Yeah, we'd get so many questions. If you think the questions in the chat are bad now, Joe, just times that by 10 million. And mostly younger kids at probably the Super Bowl um, fan fest or whatever they call it. Yeah, it's storm the field. No, I I wouldn't ever go on the field because then that's some. I think that's some serious fines, especially during the Super Bowl. It's probably something ridiculous, like a hundred thousand dollar fine. Yeah, I mean, you get all those questions plus more, Joe. I think you'd I think you'd kill somebody at the end of it. We better hire like a hundred uh a hundred different people to help the booth. Like Panini. Yeah, just think of like the national. I had my freak out at the national. You kinda had your freak out. It wasn't as bad as mine. But and just times that by a, a million. Someone did that in the, what was it, Mike Tyson fight? Someone parachuted in. Was that Mike Tyson, right? Wasn't that? And he was like notorious of doing that a lot. Oh, it was, it was a, a combination of things. The National is always just like a an S show, just a just a lot of craziness happening. Because you have to set up the booth, the internet connection is never seems to be working. You have to answer all the emails kind of on poor internet. You have people coming up who have never seen case breaks before. Um it's just a lot of stuff happening at once. So it gets heated. Plus, it's really long hours. It's like we start around like 7 or 8 a.m. and then end around 10 p.m. So it's like a, a 15 hour day is like five days in a row. It's just not very fun. 145 out of 199, Markel Fultz. Um, it's a lot more fun to just go and, and walk around and see all the cool stuff. We have for the Pistons, Blake Griffin, Dominator Auto, Pistons with a nice break, 16 out of 25. No, it wasn't Pacquiao Mayweather, wait, Mayweather, it was in the 90s or something. It was someone who parachuted in, does that, anybody else know? Yeah, he, he, knocked, he got knocked out on the 25. It was a Tyson fight, yeah. I don't know which one. Dwight Howard, blue, number to 49. Yeah, we maybe we'll do a couple breaks. I don't think we'll be breaking the hole. I don't even know if we're going, to be honest. We'll have to see. There's Mo Wagner, number to 199. I would like to go on the Friday, Saturday, maybe. Just hit up the panini party and, and bounce. It was Sphinx. Yeah, it was one of those fights. And yeah, if you look it up on Wikipedia, it's kind of a, a cool Wikipedia read. Anthony Davis, 31 out of 99. There's a Russell Westbrook Hart, number to 99. And Trey Young Silver. All right, three boxes to go. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. We do have one personal break for Mr. Dave Barrows trying another personal box of contenders. First box, he hit a um, Trey Young autograph on card. The next one, we hit a Luka Doncic out of 49. So he's trying his luck again 
Um, we do have some more personal breaks. If anyone orders the personal by the end of this break, I'm here already. I might as well rip it. I'm not live until Sunday. Um, get that in. If not, Joe, Joe's back tomorrow. Normal time. Yeah. It's just there's always big releases on the Friday at the National. So that's kind of tough. We'll have to see how it all, all happens. Definitely Atlantic City. I like the Atlantic City one a lot. And now that there's legalized sports... <laughs> Sports betting in New Jersey, for sure the Atlantic City, 2020. It was 2013? No, this one is, this one was early, earlier than that. I'll have to look it up. I'll look it up once uh, we're done here. I remember it was like maybe a 30 for 30 short or something. Like, I definitely wasn't watching the fight live, but I remember seeing it, and I was like, wow, that's really crazy. And then I I saw the video on YouTube. It was like this famous guy, and then he did it somewhere else, too. Um, we ship all five days, but it usually takes about maybe three three business days or so to uh, get everything sorted and, and shipped out. Um, but you'll get an email with the tracking number as soon as it as soon as it ships. Sean Kemp. We got a gold Ricky Rubio. One out of ten. I would sing a rap song with Ricky Rubio in the lyrics, but I don't think it's safe for work. Utah Jazz, that is Daisuke. There's Jonas Valanciunas for the Raptors. 45 out of 79. The autograph, is he on the trading block? Drew Holiday. I think they said he's untouchable. Pelicans. That is Matthew B. There you go, Matt. There's a Bagley Silver. Nice red Trey Young. Twenty-five out of ninety-nine. Oh, there you go. Nineteen ninety-three. Right. Patrick Beverly, number to one ninety-nine. Yeah, I was not watching that <laughs> live. Um, there's a red Dirk, numbered to ninety-nine. Hard to spot these, but the red background there. Orange Dante DiVincenzo, numbered 95 out of 199. The Villanova Prodigy, Dante DiVincenzo. All right, two more boxes left. Oh, so it wasn't Tyson. Yeah, so there you go. Look up the Wikipedia for that. It is interesting. I didn't know he, I forgot he flew right in the middle of the fight. And I think he did it at another fight too, to be honest. I think he did multiple. 
I'll have to search that up after. But yeah, something like that during the Super Bowl. If the uh, if the new Ram Stadium, if the dome is open during the Super Bowl in 2020 or 2021 or whatever, um, we'll have to jump from like the Goodyear blimp or something and and have some Jaspies branding. Um, we'll have to start a GoFundMe to bail me or Joe or both of us out, but I'm down to do it. Although even saying it, I might be incriminating myself. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty good um, for the Bucks. I mean, Bucks are a pretty stacked team, so I don't know how many minutes he's really getting, but he's a pretty good young player, and he, and I think he's what twenty maybe. He came out maybe a year too early, people say. So maybe next year's his his breakout year. No, stadium won't be open this season. They had to delay it another season because of El Nido rain last year, which I feel like it rained maybe once last year. There's a lot of rain this year, but last year I feel like there was one rain, and it, it delayed them a whole year. So there's a uh, LA for you. So then the Super Bowl had to get delayed. It was originally supposed to be Miami this upcoming season, and then Tampa, and then uh, L.A., but now it's Miami, Tampa Bay, then L.A. So Rams at an, at the Coliseum. Chargers play another season at the StubHub, and then I saw a tweet where the Oakland Raiders will be playing at AT&T Park. That's allegedly, according to uh, a few reports I, I saw, the San Francisco Giants Stadium, which Joe Jaspi cannot be happy about. Playing in San Francisco Giants Stadium, that's like your Raiders are cursed for life. I don't even know how you can be a Raiders fan. If you... If you hate the Giants as much as you say you do, I don't think you can move for the Raiders this year, Joe. Yeah, I mean, that's the case for, for Rams games, but I think when they build a new stadium... And if the Rams are, are good again the next couple years, I think they'll get a lot of fans, um, a lot of kind of bandwagon fans. But the Chargers, definitely not. Chargers, no. I think Rams will get a, a decent fan base, though. Wow, another 2 of 10 gold auto Chandler Hutchinson. 2 of 10. Another gold auto for Swaggy. It's actually okay. I hope that hope the Raiders destroy their field. <laughs> yeah. And then I saw a joke where it's not like the Giants are going to be playing in September anyway. But as an Angels fan, I, I didn't say that as an Angels fan. But I, if you're a fan of some other team, you could say that. Maybe the Red Sox, if you're a fan of the Red Sox. Serge Ibaka to 199, Raptors. There's a Steph Curry, five out of five. Bam. Five of five green, Steph Curry. Nice hit for the Warriors going out to Matthew B. Matthew staying up late, gets rewarded. Nice five of five, Steph Curry. Joe owes you a train whistle on that one. There's Carmelo Anthony. Number 79 for the Rockets. There's a red Russell Westbrook. Number 99. Man, poor Andrew Jones. Wow, 
Last one from this box is Bruce Brown Orange, 142 out of 199. Yeah, there you go. Train whistle on layaway. I feel like the Dodgers, Dodgers and Angels, I guess, have struck out on um, free agency last f 10, 15 years. The only one I could think of is, I guess, Manny Ramirez for the Dodgers, who had that one really good season, right? One of those seasons was good, and then the next not so good. Last box. I think they're just going to be I think they're still going to be called the Oakland Raiders to be honest. I don't think they'll change it again because then the next year they have to change it to the Vegas Raiders. So I think they'll probably keep it as Oakland. LA sports in general just had the curse. I mean, you had the Kings, a um, couple rings earlier this decade. You had the Lakers in the in the two thousands, but just tough going for LA sports, especially against Boston. I mean, to lose to lose to, um, Boston two times in a row is tough. I think L.A. was more upset about the Dodgers, though. I think I think a lot of people say, oh, L.A. doesn't have fans, but Dodgers definitely have a lot of fans. And Kings have a lot of fans, too, surprisingly. Um, Lakers is kind of a, a team like the, the Cowboys, where it's just such a huge brand that you get a lot of fans. But Clippers, Angels... I guess the Chargers, um, not so great. Well, the Angels are always top five in attendance, so the fans show up. They're just not as diehard as uh, as Dodgers. A lot of families go to the Angels games. Yeah, it was definitely a home game. I mean, it takes time to build build a fan base. You had, what, it's been 20 plus years in um, in L.A. since no football team. So it's not that people don't watch football in L.A. It's just that everyone else became a fan of, like, another team, you know? Everyone else started to like the Raiders or, or the um, – a lot of Broncos fans, a lot of Cowboys fans, you know? Giants fans, and there's a lot of transplants, so. But after time, I think the Rams will definitely have some success, but I don't know about the uh, the Chargers. Norms of Noel, number 149. Chargers, I think, are kind of screwed, kind of like the Clippers. TJ Warren. Trevor Ariza. For the Phoenix Suns, number 199. Miles Turner, red for the Pacers, number 99. There's an eight and silver for the Suns. And Mikhail Bridges, autograph for the Phoenix Suns, refractor auto. Yeah, I mean, Clippers are always going to be that. Although the Clippers still, I think they still get some attendance just because people people like this, the aura of the Staples Center. Um, plus, Lakers tickets are so expensive, especially now. But 
but Clippers still draw some fans. You just won't see you won't see a lot of them walking around with Clippers jerseys. Gary Harris, number to forty-nine, and Shea Gilgis Alexander, silver ends the break. Awesome case. Thanks everyone for getting in. Thanks for watching. That was two on eighteen nineteen Panini Donners Optic twelve box case number nine.